Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Morris. Today I'm gonna to teach you about guide words. Now we've been working on ABC order and the reason why we learn ABC order and we work on that in third grade is so that you can answer guide word questions. So let me explain to you what guide words are. Guide words are found in dictionaries. A dictionary is a resource that you can use that can tell you um, all kinds of words and their definitions. Dictionaries can also tell you how to pronounce a word. Uh, for example, you've got your entry word there. Right after it, it tells you how to pronounce it. So this word is fiend. This is the um, this is the pronunciation here, fiend. It's a noun, and then it gives you some definitions there. Okay? Now, guide words are the two words at the top of a page, okay? The first guide word is the first word that appears on a page. So the first word on this page is fiber. The second guide word is the last word that appears on the page, and this one is figure, so figure's the last word that's on that page. The way that guide words are useful is to help you find the words that you're looking for. All the words in the dictionary are organized in ABC order, and so if you know the words you're looking for, you can use the guide words to help you. If you know you're looking for a word and it comes alphabetically before fiber, then it's gonna be on some pages before this page. If you're looking up a word alphabetically and it comes after the word figure, then that means you need to keep going. Maybe it's on pages after it. If you're looking for a word that fits alphabetically between the words fiber and figure, then you know, okay, I found my page. So that's how guide words help you. They just let you know the first word on a dictionary page and the last word on a dictionary page, just so you can find the word that you are looking for. Now, there's two kinds of guide word questions that you could be asked, and we're gonna practice the first kind of guide word question today. So here's the first kind of guide word question you could see. It says, which of the following words could be found on a dictionary page between the guide words oatmeal and pasta? So if we were talking about a real dictionary, oatmeal would be the first word on the page, pasta would be the last word on the page. We have to decide which of these words would fit on that page between oatmeal and pasta. Now some of these words come alphabetically before oatmeal, so they would be on maybe the page before it. Some of these words alphabetically come after the word pasta, so they would be on the page after it. But some of these words are gonna fit right in between, and that's what we're going to try to find out. So I'm gonna show you exactly what to do when you get to a question like this. So first of all, you're gonna need your piece of notebook paper, you're gonna have it turned sideways so that you have your lines going up and down. These lines are gonna keep you nice and neat and organized. Then you're going to write your ABCs going across the top of your page. That's your cheat sheet, you can use that. That can help you to put everything into order. So we've got our question here. Which of the following words could be found on a dictionary page between the guide words oatmeal and pasta? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm first gonna start by copying my guide words, oatmeal and pasta. So here's oatmeal. And again, I'm gonna write it so that I have one letter in each. And since oatmeal is a guide word, I'm just gonna put a little star at the end of it. That star is gonna signify that it's a guide word and it's special. Okay, my other guide word was pasta, so I'm gonna write pasta right underneath it. And again, since pasta is a guide word, I'm just gonna put a little star because it's special. These are my two guide words. Our answers are gonna be alphabetically between these two words. So these stars are just gonna make them stand out. So now, these are the words we have to try to figure out if they fit on the page or not. The words notebook, oats, opal, pizza, pages, and on too. So I'm gonna copy all of these words right underneath my guide words. So we have notebook, oats, opal, 
pizza pages and on to okay so let me just double check that I didn't miss anything I have oatmeal and pasta I have notebook oats opal pizza pages and on to okay I am ready to start rocking and rolling here with my ABC order okay so I'm gonna look at the first letter in each word you always start by looking at the first letters okay now we have O P N O O P P O so we have O's and P's and we have one N if I look at my alphabet here's O there's P there's N okay these are the only letters I really need to focus on right now okay O P and N alphabetically N comes first so that means the word that starts with an N is going to be our first word we only have one word that starts with N and it's notebook so notebook is number one so I'm going to write a number one and notebook and I'm gonna cross it out okay now we have O P O O P P O if I look at my ABC orders if I'm looking for O's and P's O comes alphabetically before P so that means that all of my O words are gonna come before any of the P words so right now I'm gonna focus on my O words now we have quite a few words that start with O so when you have a repeat letter like this you have to go next door so I'm gonna cross them off and go next door so I'm looking at the A in oatmeal I'm looking at the A in oats I'm looking at the P in opal and I'm looking at the N and on to so I'm looking at A A P N a A P N here's A there's P there's N so if I'm using my alphabet between A's P's and N's A definitely comes first so my O words that have an A in them are going to come first now I have two O A words right here oatmeal and oats so let's see if we can figure this out they both have O A I'm gonna cross them off go next door we have a T we have a T but it's the same so we have to keep going till we get something different I'm gonna cross them off go next door we have an M and we have an S so now we have something different okay we have M we have S if I'm using my alphabet there's M there's S M comes first so the word with the M is gonna come first so that means that oatmeal is going to be our next word so number two is oatmeal and that's one of our guide words so I'm going to put a star by it okay and cross it off and now I can go down and do my other OA word which was oats so oats is number three so I can write oats cross that off okay so I'm done with my OA words. Now I have OP and ON. So using my alphabet again, there's P, there's N. N definitely comes first. So that means that ON to is going to be our next word because N comes before P. So number four is ON to. And I can cross it off. Then we have to do OPAL. So number five is opal. And then I can cross it off. Okay, so now we've gone through all of our O words. So now we just have words that start with P. We have pasta, pizza, and pages. Okay, now since they all have P, I'm gonna go next door. We're looking at PA, PI, or PA so a i a using my alphabet there's a there's i 
A definitely comes first. Now we have two A words, P-A words. So we just have to go next door till we get to something different, okay? So I'm gonna cross off the A and look at the S. Cross off the A, look at the G. So we're looking at an S or a G. If I look at my alphabet, here's S, here's G. G definitely comes first. So the word with the G is gonna come first. So that is pages. So number six, I'm gonna write pages. Because G comes before S, I can cross it off. And then I have to write pasta. So number seven is pasta. And that's a guide word, so I'm gonna give it a star. Okay, cross it off. And now we only have one word left. All we have left is the word pizza. So number eight has to be pizza. And I can cross it off. Okay, so at this point, we're done putting our words into ABC order. We had to use some of our special tricks of going next door when we had some repeat letters. But for now, we have everything in ABC order. Now, let's go back and look at this question. The question says, which of the following words could be found on a dictionary page between the guide words oatmeal and pasta? Here's our guide word oatmeal. There's our guide word pasta. Anything that's in between it is a word that would fit on that page. So all of these words in between oatmeal and pasta are your answers. Oats fits between oatmeal and pasta. On to fits between oatmeal and pasta. Opal fits between oatmeal and pasta. And pages fits between oatmeal and pasta. So all of these answer choices are correct. The word notebook comes alphabetically before the guide word oatmeal. So that means notebook would be on the page before it. The word pizza comes after the guide word pasta, so that means pizza, pizza would be on the page after it. But any words that are in between your two guide words when you put them into ABC order, these words are going to be your answers. So if I were going to be answering this question, notebook, nope, I'm gonna cross it off. Oats, yes. Opal, yes. Pizza, no, that came after it. Pages, yes. On to, yes. So in this particular question, we actually had four correct answers because there were four words that fit between your guide words. Now, I know that this is a lot of work for one question, but this is what you're asked to do as a third grader on your reading SOL test. So I have a couple of guide word practice questions that I want you to try. I need you to work them out on a piece of paper. It takes work to get this right. But if you work it out on paper, you write your ABCs, you line everything up, and you use the rules I've taught you and that we've practiced together, you can get the correct answers no problem. If you just go to your practices and you start clicking answers, you're probably not going to be successful. If you want to be successful, I want you to do it this way. Work it out on a sheet of paper, put all of your words into ABC order, and whatever fits in between your two guide words, those are your answers right there. I hope this makes sense. I can't wait to see you uh, for one of our conferences or in person. Good luck on your practice and have a great day.